Hello Divination and welcome in today's video. I'm going to show you step by step how to download and install our free 404 page template for Divi's crowdfunding layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to go to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you're on here, you need to download the template. So I'm gonna click here on get it for free today at my email address. Then I'm going to click on download. All right. So next you want to click on download the files and here is the file. So what I'm going to do now is to unzip this file. So I'm going to go into the folder and here is my download folder. So you need to double click on this or just unzip the file. So once you unzip it, this is the file that you get. It's a .json file. So I'm going to just drag this over to the left here, I'm going to bring it on the screen when I need it. All right, so now let's dive in and let's take a look at our website. So this is currently what we have. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open up a new page and just type in a page that does not exist on my website. So I'm just going to add some uh, gibberish here. And uh, when I click on uh, search, you can see here that it says no results found. Ideally, we need to have a page here, which is well designed, well customized, and this is what we're going to do. So over here now, we need to install that that um, file. So I'm going to come to DV, click on Theme Builder, and then over here now, I'm going to click on Portability, click on Import. Now remember that file that we unzipped. It's over here. I'm going to uh, drag and drop it here, or you can just search for the file in your file manager. Okay, so now that I've dragged it here, all I have to do now is to click on import DV builder template. Okay, now you can see it's assigned to the 404 page, which is fantastic. So all I have to do now is to click on save. And then over here, if I refresh this page, you are going to notice that this page now is going to have a different design. So if I refresh now, there we go. So this now is my 404 page. Uh, so we can further go in and customize this with our own colors and even our own graphics. So I like the fact that when you click here, take me uh, back home, it takes you to the home page. And this is a dynamic link, which means every time you uh, click on that link, it will take you to the home page. All right. So let's go and let me show you how you can customize and uh, perhaps maybe maybe even change the colors of this template. So I'm gonna come over here to this pencil icon. It's gonna take us to our builder. All right, so let's start here with our background. So I'm gonna click here on my section settings and I'm gonna come over here to background. So this is the color that we're getting. So let's say you want to change your color here. If you click this, you can see here my color is changing. So ideally you wanna change this to the color of your branding or your color palette. So this is what really makes this work. And also the color that you use needs to be good enough so that it does not make it difficult to read. So basically your color here should not be a dark color because it will clash with your text here and it will be difficult to read. Okay, so that's how you change your color. So over here we have an image. So if I delete this, you can see here my image is gone. So uh, if you don't really need that graphic, you can just do that. And this is how you customize your background. All right, so let's move on and uh, let's take a look here at this row. So I'm going to click on my row settings. So for our row settings here is for positioning. If you want to position this in a different place, that's where you can go in and position that. But inside the rows, we have... Uh, our modules. So our first module here is a blurb. So as you can see, we can change the text here from start a campaign to something else. And as I'm typing, you can see here it's updating. Next, for our image and icon, if you really want to change your, your icons here, this is where you'd come in and uh, change your icon. You can even use our default uh, DV icons. So you can see here just by adding it like that, I've just added it. And also you can further customize this. Uh, let's say you want to change the size. You can just go in and change the size like that. You can change the color. 
and so on. Okay, so that's that. Now, moving on, we also have this text here. So let's go into our text module. So let's say you want to add a specific message. So the message could be something different to the page you're looking for here is broken or does not exist. You can just change this to whatever you want. And if you also want to customize this text to whatever font you want to use, you can just come over here to design. And uh, in fact, you know what? I'll click on this pen brush icon. So now it's going to take us to our text. So this is where you can change your text from whatever we have here to, for example, Poppins. And you can also further customize this text by increasing the size and also increasing the line height. So this is how you can go in and change the fonts to match your design. OK, uh, if you want to make it bold, you can just continue and um, change this from medium to bold. And let's say you want to change the colors. You can just go in and change your color just like that. But when you use your colors, you have to be very careful because you want to make sure that it's easier to read on your background. Now, you notice what happened here when I chose the slide background. It means that it's going to be quite difficult to read over here. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Next, we also have this uh, text module here as well. You can just customize it the same way. And then now let's take a look at this 404 text. So as you can see, this is a text module. And to customize that, you can just go into your heading text. We can change the color and we can also change the font if we need to change it here. So that is how you make changes to that. Over here on the bottom, we have um, this blurb uh, module. And again, we can change the icon by coming over here. And so you can see here, we have this icon right here. Um, if you want to uh, change the icon to a different one, this is where you'd come in and do those changes. And uh, let's say you want to uh, change your logo here. I'm going to click on this gear icon and you can see here this is an image. So you can go in and uh, change this to whatever image it is that you want to add here for your logo. Now over here on the design, you can also play around with the sizing because as you can see, my logo there is pixelated. So this is where you want to come in here and uh, just adjust the width uh, to uh, make it look much better. So I would go with uh, perhaps maybe say 20. So that looks much better now. I'm going to save. And then once you're happy with uh, the complete design, uh, you want to make sure that you save the whole design by coming to um, expand settings and then clicking on save. And you also need to save this one more time. So let's close out of here. And then you want to click on save all changes. Okay, so now that you've changed, saved all changes, you can just come over here. And every time you go to a page that does not exist on your website, this is what you see. So that is how you use the 404 template. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.